Hi everybody. For today's demonstration on how to overhead spray, what we actually have is a situation in an old Chicago two-flat where we have a back office that was built over an old stairwell and deck space. Now, when it gets cold outside and the air comes in underneath it, without proper insulation underneath the floor, the floor in this office actually gets quite cold. And without a space heater or shoes and socks on, almost too cold to work in. So, for our overhead project, what we're actually going to do is go underneath, spray overhead, insulate it, and make this room more energy efficient and comfortable to be in. Okay, this is the outside space underneath the office that I mentioned earlier. And this is the area that's going to get kind of cold in the winter. And if we look up, this is going to be the underneath of the office. So the mission today then is to use the 602 kit to spray overhead underneath the floor of that office. This may look intimidating at first, but you'll soon see how quick and easy a project like this is. Plus, it's a heck of a lot more efficient and less of a hassle than fitting it with any other type of insulation. Okay, for a project like this, you're going to want to make sure that you're always wearing all your safety equipment. Today I'll be using a respirator as well as uh, the gloves and the goggles and the Tyvek suit. Another thing to note is to use the regular nozzles only when spraying overhead. You're fighting gravity when you're spraying straight up, so you don't want to spread it out with one of the fan spray tips. Regular nozzle only. In addition to that, when you're spraying overhead, try and get within 12 inches of what you're spraying. You're going to need to get closer because you're fighting the gravity force in the foam through the hoses as well as out of the nozzle to whatever you're spraying onto. Another handy tip when spraying overhead to help the foam not solidify on the end of the nozzle is to actually use a little bit of petroleum jelly on the end of the nozzle to help lubricate it coming out. Much in the same way the foam will not stick to the petroleum jelly on the end of the nozzle, another handy trick is to apply a thin layer of the petroleum jelly just on the outside of the goggles. That way it's going to come off a lot easier when you undoubtedly do get the foam on the goggles. And as always, use common sense and be as safe as possible. You know, obviously today we're going to be using a pretty long extension ladder here, so I brought a friend to help. Now today, I'm actually not going to be wearing the protective booties on my shoes. These are shoes that I do plan on throwing away, but I don't want to slip while I'm on the ladder with the plastic booties on. This is also a good time to mention that you should put plastic or drop cloths down to protect the areas under which you are spraying. It's really that easy. Order your foam at Green today so you can start saving money on energy too.